guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my morning skincare routine. I've had quite a few of you guys ask for this video, so I figured I'd go ahead and get it up for you guys and try to make it as short and sweet as possible. So let's get started. Um, I'm still using my Vanity Planet brush and loving it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with that as well as this cleanser by Sunday Riley. No, this is not my favorite cleanser, but I did buy this several months ago and I don't want it to go to waste. So I'll do a couple pumps of that on the silicone brush head, which is also my personal favorite. It does come with a couple of other brush heads, but this one just, in my opinion, I love how it feels on the face. It's almost like a little massage, but it also rinses perfectly clean. So if you're rinsing your makeup off, I love the silicone brush head. If you're interested in this Vanity Planet brush, it is um, still available with my coupon on code so you can get it for just under $40. I think it's a good value. I don't like to spend a lot of money on this kind of stuff. It's battery operated so completely wireless so I do love that. And of course let's start out with my aloe vera toner. It's my favorite toner. I've been using this forever. You guys know it's been on repeat for what feels like years. Um, I love using a toner because it really balances out the skin if you're especially if you like taking hot showers like I do. Sometimes you get out of the shower and your, fin your skin can feel a little bit tight after a couple of minutes. And so the, the toner just kind of brings back balance. And then I'm still using my SK2 essence water. I'm loving this stuff. It is a pricey step, I know. And it's an unnecessary step. It is definitely something extra, but I do love the way that it feels. I will continue to use this and will continue to repurchase. The bottle has lasted me a really long time, so I do really love it. Again, I just feel like it's something that just kind of brings balance to the skin before you start all your treatment. And I just love the way that it feels. And of course, all, whatever you have extra with everything, just kind of put it on your hands. Don't let that go to waste. And I always do two serums, my Young Living Serum, and then I'm currently using this one by Estee Lauder. I do two drops of each and then massage that into the skin. You guys know I've been using this Young Living Serum forever. I love it. I notice a huge difference when I do not have it in my skincare routine, so I just don't not added anymore. It really is kind of a must in my opinion. It's also pretty affordable. This bottle is has like 300 drops or something ridiculous like that and it's like around $30. And then my advanced night repair, I've noticed a big difference in adding that. I did buy it, what, a month and a half ago but then I was also sent a bottle in PR so that was nice. I'm also using this eye cream by La Mer. I've been using this for also a while. I do love it but it's pricey so I will not be repurchasing it but it does feel really nice. I do notice um, it de-puffs. It's a gel formula, so it's lightweight. If I'm a little dry, I will go onto my lid just to kind of help with my eyeshadow and stuff like that because sometimes my eyelids do get a little bit dry. So I'll just kind of massage that in under the eye area. Just be, be gentle. And of course, the neck. I tend to forget about the neck sometimes. I did buy this neck cream a while back and so I just kind of rub this up onto the neck um, and then of course any extra always rub onto, the, rub onto the hands but try not to forget your neck whether you buy something specific for the neck or you just put your your face cream on your neck just try not to uh, forget the neck and then my favorite day moisturizer with SPF is this one by Paula's Choice I've also been using this forever it's my favorite in my opinion I just think it really layers nicely underneath makeup it's not too thick or greasy or anything like that so your makeup doesn't slide over the top of it um, it also has SPF so whether your foundation has SPF or not you are covered I love this stuff whether you go out with or without makeup it also just works great because it doesn't leave you super greasy so I do really love that as well and then of course put that on the neck and then any leftover on the hands and then last and certainly not least is a lip balm I've been using this one a lot lately you guys know it's a little bit thicker so I do like to put this on um, to kind of start before my makeup right at the end of my skincare and then I'll just take off any extra before I put my lipstick and lip gloss on if it's too thick but I love this stuff it feels great so that is my morning skincare routine I hope you guys enjoyed I will of course link everything down below like always um, it's a lot but not really I feel like every step is like serves a purpose so I hope you guys enjoy but I'll see you guys in my next video and I will talk to you, so you soon bye bye